M0FXB. Right, here we are. We've got the ICOM 705, which, as you know, is a HF, VHF, UHF, 6 meter radio with Bluetooth, GPS, and DR mode. And on the right hand side, we've got the ICOM 5100, which is a, a dual band VHF, UHF radio with GPS and Bluetooth, but with a black and white screen. So the the ICOM 705 has uh, a full color screen, as you can see, uh, which is very appealing. But what it doesn't have is dual band receive. So let's just turn up um, a couple of things and have a listen, and then we'll compare some of the menus. So on the 5100, you copy. which is using the open spot here, Right, you can see that it's using the open spot to cross mode from D star to talk group 91. Now let's have a listen to that on the 705. So you hold down the call button here to get you into DR mode, turn it up and we'll be listening to the same conversation. I'm in uh, San Francisco, about uh, 1 a.m. here right now. I'm just about getting ready to go to bed. How are you doing today? Right, and what you'll notice, the interesting thing is that Yes, we can listen to that on the ID5100, but if we can't listen, but we can also listen to my All Star node. With it as well. I'm not asking stupid money. I'm not looking for hundreds and hundreds On of the B band. I'm just looking for somebody just wait who for, wants to use them. Just wait for the, uh, open, the open spot to come back, which was here. It seems to have vanished happens doesn't it with digital so uh, as you can see the my node is coming through on the a band on my icom 705 to do that i have to change i have to change and go as you i'll turn it up now uh drop me an email on qnz.com and uh, i'll uh, take some photos of them they are huge i have to say because they are designed for listed and, uh, quite a as well. um, and, uh... So I have to basically only have single receive, where the ID51 will receive D star and FM analog at the same time. So let's have a quick look at some of the menus. Let's hit menu button on the 705. That's the kind of menu we get there, and menu button here on the 5100. So, let's have a look. What can we see that's similar on this menu? Well, it's a completely different menu structure, really, isn't it? You can, on the 705, you've got scope, audio, voice, meter, SWR, ETC, and there is a built-in, very funky SWR meter on the 705 memory scan. Let's try menu number two. Let's have a look here, see if some of these are more similar. So, on, on the... 5100, if we start at the beginning, you've got duplex, tone, manage memory, scan, voice, voice TX, GPS, call sign, and RX history. So let's go back. Let's try the function menu. We've got two menus. Preamp, AGC, notch, NR, Split, Vox, Tone, Off, and Money. Let's try menu number two. We've got the duplex ability there. So that would be our tone and the max and the different power settings when it's on the battery. So you've got a few menus here. Let's click quick. All right, back to the menu on the 5100. Manage memory scan. DTMF, function, display, so you have function here. 
squelch, fan control, timeout, mic gain. There you go, let's go back, back. Now with the 5100, you have these different menus on the front screen, like you've got D3, D1, D2. And the menus are slightly different when you're in DV mode, which we are. If we go to the sub channel, we can now get the F menus. So VFO, memory, call, memory, scan, and money. Let's hit F2, DTMF, voice, low, GPS. Right, now we've got the open spots come to life now, I think. I did see some transmissions there. No, it's gone quiet again, but we've, let's turn them both up on. So a scratchy signal there on the node. Let's turn it up on this one. And we'll turn up the open spot, see if we can get some dual receive. So obviously with the ID51 you haven't got a, you haven't got a color scope. I think there is a scope function. Let's see if I can find it. I think you get like a black and white scrolly type scope. Scope. Single sweep. See see the way it sweeps there? Now we can put it into single receive by holding down our finger on the main button. So let's do the scope again and then do a continuous sweep. So you can see the way it's, it's scanning across the entire band of, that, of, the, of, what you've, of the band that you've selected. Now, if you look at the scope on the 705, and you can change the span of, so there you are, it's scanning a, a wider part of the band, and then hit span again, 100K, 250k, 500k, so you can really see the band there, and then, look, plus, that's a very small part. The other thing with the 705 is you've got the audio scope, so if you hit menu, number one, and then audio, you can have the, the scope plus you have this audio scope, and that's obviously, you know, part of the... Uh, the attractiveness of 705. Let's go back and dual receive. We're waiting for some activity on the on the open spot. Let's see if I can change to reflector one Charlie. So we're just gonna select that on the open spot. We're on a D-Star radio and we're gonna select reflector one, hope, hoping that it's busy. Give that a go so we can give it a better test here. So just changing over now. Open spot connected to REF001 Charlie. No, we're not lucky with the activity, are we? Let's try 30 Charlie. Usually some activity around, isn't there? Just, I'm just selecting it on the computer at the moment. <clears throat> Open spot connected to REF030 Charlie. No luck there. <clears throat> so the scope's still running on the A band. Now, as I said, you have got GPS here and the GPS is trying to get a lock here or you can manually enter your coordinates. The 5100 does have a Bluetooth module in it, but you do have to add that in, but it's very simple and they're about, I think they're about 40, 50 pound. The 705 has Bluetooth built in and GPS as well. Normally, if you get a lock, you can just tap the 705 here at the top and then you'll get all the information, but we haven't got a lock, but we can select manual. The other thing obviously with the 705 is that you've got HF. So if we come, uh, if we just literally tap the screen here, select HF, we're in there straight away. There's no antenna for HF on this now, but you've got all the HF bands, six meters, and you've got a broadcast radio as well. You can turn that up. 
Uh, so I went to Georgia Tech, just an update myself, and it was while I was there that I just fell in love with doing research. There you go, that's your broadcast radio. And the first of my scientific mentors I met there, his name was... Bob memory Bob. mode, you just tap he it where it says VFO. And he taught choose memory. Now you get, you should always really choose a group first on the 705 that your where all your memory where you've decided where the different groups are got that one there for local repeaters right so regarding the i'm trying to work out remember if there's a broadcast radio on the 5100 so can't actually remember that both radios have sd cards Uh, sorry, just looking at the menu. <clears throat> Time set, sounds, click others, clone, touch screen, reset. I know that the 5100 in America is cross mode, does cross mode, doesn't it? I don't know how to do that. DV set, so they've both got very extensive DV memories. My station, yeah, where your call sign goes, they both do that. Menu, let's just go into the set menu just so you can see what's here. Tone, function, let's go to function. Yeah, they have different microphones as well. Just show you the microphone on on the 705. The microphone is um, a speaker microphone, but it's fully programmable. So you can, you know, you can change the volume, change the channel. On the 5100, It's a DTMF microphone and it controls everything on the radio and it is excellent. It's a very good microphone. Good audio reports on both. The speaker on the 705 is definitely better than the 5100. My, so my station, that's where your call sign would go. DV set. Now these menus are a bit more similar to what we were just looking at, aren't they? So DV set, my station... We've got function menu here as well. If we hit select function and go to function here. Uh, so let's go to the top. Oh, There's a lot of menus. Go to the top. So they're not in the, sa in the same order, but I do find that when I'm using the 705, it does remind me of using the 5100. So, the activity seems to have slowed down, which is such a shame, because I wanted to show that in action. So, the main point I was making, though, is that the, the plus side to the 5100 is the dual band receive. You can sit here, you've got FM analog on the left, and on the right-hand side, you've got your, uh, your hotspot. With the 705, it is one at a time, and, um, you know, you can probably set it on A and B band, but it's one at a time. Even my, uh, and you've got VFO mode as well, and tap that, go to VFO mode. But Alan Fersh wasn't like that, he took you on, you could see promise, so what was it that you worked on with him for your PhD? And we uh, selected that by going FM radio, let's Thank go you. back Just to... When you're in scope, it looks like it mutes, so let's come out of scope. Yeah. yeah readable. So that's interesting. So when you're in scope, the 5100 gets muted. Let's compare audio. Uh, three months uh, journey to the anti -bombs. So that's the 705. Two months in Australia, so I really enjoyed it. Um, we've got rain here today. First time we've had for about um, three weeks. And let's turn up the the problem is like on the I've got an external speaker on the five one hundred so it's going to sound good. The speaker is an ICOM SP seven that I'm using, and it does it's an old one, but it just sounds very good. So right, well, in summary, I mean we could talk about both these radios for ages, couldn't we? But in summary, 
why go for the 705 and why go for the 5100? Well, obviously, you can see my choice was to go for both. The 705, it, it, it does everything you can think of. It's portable. It's got a battery. The 5100 has not got a battery. So I wouldn't really class it as a portable radio. But yeah, perfect for putting in, in the car. Um, if you want a dual band D-Star mobile radio, I don't think you can beat the 5100. Such a shame that they haven't yet brought one out with a colour screen. I'm sure they will, because if they did, it would be the perfect dual band radio. Now, the 705 is is still very, you know, very good. You can put it in the car. You can take it out in the field. You can have it as a base station like it is here at the moment. It will do everything, but you're going to pay um even second hand it's going to cost you a thousand pound isn't it where the 500 400 pound there's a big price difference but you do get a lot more it packed into the into the 705 it's all it's somewhat you can afford so they're both excellent radios i like using them both uh i am a sucker for a color screen and um so yeah there's loads more we could say about these radios but this is just me having a look at my two of my favorite radios and talking about them so uh, 73 all the best uh, if you like my channel please subscribe